As Adamo State, Nigeria continues to rebuild after years of insurgency, Oxfam, a leading humanitarian organization, has announced a new grant program specifically designed to aid recovery efforts. The program will provide crucial funding to local organizations working tirelessly on the ground to restore essential services, ensure clean water access, sanitation facilities, and health care are available to communities. Rebuild infrastructure, support the construction of homes, schools and marketplaces damaged by insurgency. Really, we have a lot of problems during the insurgency, but we really appreciate God this time around. There is unity and companion among ourselves, because uh, before the insurgency, our people are cooperating. But due to the insurgency, our people have entered a lot of problems. So by the help of our God Almighty, we are now trying to reactivate ourselves to become as the way we are before. Yeah, we, have, uh, uh, we have witnessed a lot of them, really, uh, of recent. There is a, a CDP uh, program that was initiated by the, uh, the governor, uh, Governor Fintri, and uh, honestly, we have achieved a lot. It has it have been like an eye-opener to our people because we have uh, know the value or know the importance of help ourselves by ourselves. Uh, that's the importance of it. We have gained a lot from this uh, program because if you go around now, you see a lot of things I've done uh, from road, road uh, maintenance and uh, uh, our boreholes where the, the source of uh, water, they have repaired a lot of them. And honestly, we have uh, gained a lot from this uh, program. The NGOs have tried a lot, honestly. The program coordinator of Oxfam, Enoch, expressed satisfaction with the commitment of various communities while the Adamawa State Government, represented by the Permanent Secretary, Minister for Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs, Abbas Kiri, says the State Government will continue to support their self-help project. <laughs> community passion and zeal to take on the, the responsibility of driving development initiative from their communities. I, I, I am proud to tell you that through this initiative, communities have been able to implement uh, more than 100 projects, all drawn from their community development plan. Some of them were able to lobby for the construction of culverts, some were able to lobby the, constru the construction of drainages, some were able to even train community people, particularly those who are vulnerable, who were affected by this Boko Haram insurgency, uh, to train them on skill acquisition, income generating activities. Some were able to lobby stakeholders, raise uh, more, uh, resources, funds. You can see from the presentation that there are even some that are already currently building uh, one block of two classrooms just to support education. Uh, educational services in their respective world. There are places, some wards that we are able to even get lands worth millions of naira just to be able to construct primary health care develop, uh, centers across Michika. Who will not be excited with this uh, innovation? And what did we just do? Just to train them, build their capacity on how they can engage with duty bearers as uh, being the, 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 the right holders. And this is all leveraging on the citizens' engagement and participatory planning policy of Adama State. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.